okie dokie. So what we're doing here, um, very similar to what we did in the last one, where we're finding the x and y coordinates of these. We don't have to sketch anything because they're just uh, variables. Um, so what we do, we do the same process as we did before to find the x-intercept. Let y equal 0. So we've got then 0 equals a over b x plus c. Move our c to the other side. So make this negative c equals a over b x. Multiply everything by b. Negative b c equals a x and divide by a. Negative b c over a equals x. So there's our y, uh, there's our um, x intercept. Now for our y intercept, same goes. We'll say let x, oh sorry, for our y int, let x equal 0. And then our equation is um, y equals a over b 0 plus c. Uh, a over b times 0 is 0, so we've just got y equals c. So we've got our x coordinate, our x intercept is this, so it's a negative b c over a comma zero and our y intercept is going to be at zero comma c. Whoops, almost wrote an x there. So the same goes for this one here. Um, so for our x intercept, doesn't matter which one you do first, let y equal zero. So we've got a zero minus b x equals c. Um, so a times zero is zero, so negative b x equals c. Divide by sides by negative b. We've got x equals negative c over b. That's our x intercept. For our y intercept, let x equal zero. So from there, let's change colors. We've got a y minus b times zero equals c. Whoops, c. So we've got a y equals c, y equals c over a. And that's all there is to it. So this one here is at negative c over b comma zero. And this one here is at zero comma c over a. So treat them exactly the same. Let y equal zero, let x equal zero to solve the opposite um, intercept. And... Um, we just solved.